Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Family, I am so glad to be with you all again. In the name of Jesus, for today is another beautiful day that the Lord has made. We will all rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The prophet word says, you are the one. He wants, he wants. But the third, party, the third party does not want him to be with you. The third party does not want him to be with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you see me for your very first time, of course, this is Prophet's Word with Adele. I just want to appreciate my returning subscribers for coming back. And if you're new, you're welcome to the family. God bless you abundantly. Thank you for being part of this amazing family. Father, Lord, we thank you. We worship you. We give you all the praise and another direction. Ashes of days, for there is no like you. Father, we thank you, O Holy Spirit of God. We thank you for the amazing things that you have been doing in our lives. Thank you for guidance and protection. Thank you for your love. Thank you for forgiving us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for there is no like you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray that let this video should not pass you by, that my God will keep you, increase you, and let his continent shine upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He wants you. He wants to be with you. Your person loves you so much, he wants to be with you. But the third party does not want him to be with you. The third party is fighting it. It's making it difficult is making it miserable is making it tight for him not to be with you that is why you have been going through what you're going right now because actually you really want to be with your partner you love your partner so well you love your partner so much but what is really working on is the third party you see god is going to do something for you i want you to keep watching this video watch it to the end God is going to do something for you. Do you believe that God can actually do something for you? Yes, God is going to do something. Because God is going to remove the third party in your life. Amen. God is going to remove the third party in your life. Hallelujah. What God is trying to put together. He says what he's trying to put together in the Bible. Nobody should try and put an asunder to it. You will see a beautiful couple being together, being happy together, trying everything possible to make things happen, to make life good for them, struggling to be their life together. But a third party, a third party will come knowing fully well that you are seeing this person, but they still want to fit themselves in. What the hell is going on? They still want to fit themselves in, trying to be part of that party, which it is not good. If you are watching this video, I don't know who I am talking to, but that is what is happening. If you are watching this video, you are trying to fit in, in a relationship that two people have built, that they are struggling to make it work. And then you find yourself trying to be a third partner in that relationship, please kindly leave that relationship alone because god has each and every one gift you have your own person that god has designed for you don't interact in that third party try to leave that third party alone leave god do what he wants to do you think that trying to be third party in someone's relationship and then the person end up without being with you at the end of the day, you see struggle to scatter these two people. You do everything possible not to be with these people. Okay? You do everything possible not to be with this with this person. You do everything possible not to be and this person leave you and go back to their real partner. And then you start moving up and down once you get your own person. You love this person so much. You want to end up your life with this person. You come to realize that there is a third party. What, how will you feel? So do not, what you don't want anybody to do for you, don't do it for somebody. If you're doing something, if you're doing something to someone that you know very well that it is hurting that person, please stop. Because when they will do the same thing to you, it is going to hurt you too so much. So try not to hurt people so that they will not also hurt you. And you know that if someone hurts you, you will be so angry. Okay? So do everything possible not to hurt somebody so that they will not also hurt you. 
Amen. Hallelujah. But the only thing that I'm telling you is that God is removing the third party. He is taking the third party for your relationship to function well, for your relationship to glow, for your relationship to go beautiful. They have tried and they keep trying for you not to be with your person. But God says, this time around, he is going to, he has seen your effort, how you're trying everything in this relationship. God has seen your effort. He is going to take it away. He's going to remove the third party in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for this amazing prophetic word. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. God is taking third party out of your relationship. God is taking third party out of your marriage. Whoever that is disturbing your marriage, making your husband or your wife not to look at you regardless, regardless that you are someone that God has given me. You know, when you were standing in front of the altar of God and you were saying all kind of promises to your partner, you should maintain them. You know, the devil does not like to see where people are being happy, especially in a relationship, especially in a marriage. When the devil sees that there is too much happiness in that marriage, what they will try to do is to see how they can come in and destroy it. So I just want to, I don't know who I am talking to. But all I am telling you is that put yourself together. Do not let the devil come into your marriage. Do not let the devil come into your relationship. God will do everything and see you true in it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you see that your relationship is not going well the way you used to do, all you need to do, it is very simple. Talk to God about it. Talk to Jesus about it. Tell him that, Father, my relationship is not actually going well the way it used to go. My marriage is not going well the way it used to go. Talk to God. God will give you the solution. He will show you clarity and confirmation. He's going to give you a solution. If your solution is to pray for your relationship to come back, do not hesitate to pray. Pray to him to bring your partner back. Pray to him to bring your love, your spouse back. Pray to him to bring your husband back. Pray to him to bring your wife back. Amen. He will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. I take it again. He will answer your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God does not fear his children. When he says something, he do it. Let us pray for those that are going through hard time in their relationship, that God will liberate their relationship in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Father, I pray for whoever that is watching this video that is going through hardship in hardship and hard time in their relationship that lord god may you liberate that relationship in the mighty name of jesus any third party that is setting confusion in that relationship father separate that third party take that third party out of their way in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you so much for watching if you're finding it useful please do not forget to give a thumbs up turn on your notification bell and hit on the subscribe button now may the good lord keep you cause his face to shine on you may he give you peace in jesus mighty name i love you so much god loves you more stay blessed always remember to pray there is a man to pray there is a god to answer ciao